It's time to march to the sound of the guns, chaps. This time we are painting up the 7th Ulans of the Prussian army. So these miniatures are from Warlord Games Epic Battles Prussians. And yeah, I was searching through just information on Prussian Ulans and came across the 7th with their red tunics and thought, ah, let's give those chaps a try. So I spray painted the miniatures black and then using System Freeze Crimson Red, I painted over the tunics. And also on the lance pinions, the flags, uh, they were red and yellow, half and half. So we also do that part in red also. So yeah, you often see the, think of the Prussians, I mean a lot of people think of them as just being black, which actually isn't the case. Most of their uniforms were dark blue, at least by the 100 Days campaign. Um, and secondly, you'd think that they were more dark blue because of that, but there were the odd few units who had slightly more colourful uniforms, especially if you take the Prussian army from the earlier Napoleonic Wars. There were more colours then as well. Um, I would imagine it was a bit of a mix of cost cutting later on. Um, the fact that units and the army got reorganised. Uh, there were quite a few things all at play which probably um, came into the fact that the uniforms got a bit more dulled down and more uniform across the whole army, so to speak. But these ones, just to have a bit of a change, a bit of colour, um, I was quite happy to paint them up, and I was happy to find them. Although the source material online, I could only find two or three images of them, so that was quite interesting. So next up we use Uniform Grey from the Army Painter range, and for this we're just doing the trousers. It's quite a nice... Um, it's like a deep but light grey and works a treat. So yeah, happy that I found this colour. Next up we're going to use Leather Brown from Game Colour and we're going to use this for the Lance Shaft. Again I found that the Game Colour range, the colours are good quality, they're not watery, uh, they cover nicely, they don't tend to go lumpy or dry out too fast, so they are a good quality range of paints, so if you're thinking about starting out, uh, you couldn't go too far wrong using them. Uh, they're not super expensive either, so I would say they're a good good all-round uh, paint range. Plus, uh, they're made by Vallejo, and so Vallejo do the game colour, and they also do model colour. Model colour tends to be the range more for the historicals, whilst game colour tends to be more for um, their version of Citadel, uh, Citadel uh, the Warhammer Games Workshop uh, colours. Um, but they are all obviously interchangeable but I've just found it quite handy over the years to be able to find the ones that would work for both ranges. And as I said before, I tend to use slightly lighter colours when I'm painting, just because when I put the darker wash on later, it'll dull them down, and then uh, we can then pick back out using the same colour later as our highlighter. Next we're going to do the metal work, so we use silver from Game Color. So that's going to be the lance heads. Um, if you really want to do it, you can see the bits in the horse's mouth. They're actually modeled on, so that's quite cool. So you can do those. Uh, there's the scabbards, and some of the miniatures have additional uh, pieces of equipment hanging off of their saddles, so you can also do those in silver. So as I said, these miniatures do have a good amount of detail on them. So yeah, again, hats off to Warlord Games. So I hope you've all been enjoying these painting tutorials. Uh, I'm by no means finished. There's more to come. 
Um, but yeah, I just hope that you enjoy them and enjoy the style. If there are any things that you would like me to try and alter about the videos, the way I do things, um, I'm all ears. I might not change it because it works for me, but if I can see that what you're saying um, will have benefit, then yeah, please let me know. I'm always up for improvements. Um, I can't change what I don't know, let's put it that way. So yeah, if you can think of anything, let me know. If you want to see me painting any miniatures or anything in particular, again, let me know and I will add it to the list to get done. Now using Flat Flesh from Tamiya Color. Um, it's a nice color, but you do need to just use a little bit of flow improver or a little bit of extra water. I've never used one, but maybe a wet palette would do the trick. Um, I should give it a try, I've just not, not got around to it yet. Um, but yeah, this paint, it can get a bit, it can dry a bit quickly and go a bit lumpy, so you just need to make sure that you've got that uh, water or flow improver just to make sure that it does what it's supposed to do. But once it dries, especially once you put a nice dark brown wash over the top, um, it gives you a good finish. Yeah, I'm enjoying week by week um, adding additional units to my army. Uh, the Prussians are coming along nicely. I need to get back to do uh, the British cavalry next, I think. Or possibly French. Uh, let me know what you want to see next down below. I've got a lot of French cavalry to do. I think I've only done their hussars so far. Um, so I've got a few extras there. And I've got all of the British cavalry to do. So let me know what you want to see. I've also got British riflemen to do. So if you want to see those, again, let me know. Uh, epic pike and shot. I've got quite a few different things from them. Cavalry and infantry. Uh, so yeah, just let me know. Anyway, now we do the dark wash over the whole miniature and then re-highlight using those first foundation colours. And then we go over to Blucher. Raise eyes of black flags, children. No pity. No prisoners. I shoot any man I see with pity in him. Anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed the video. I uh, hope it's been useful. Uh, please like, subscribe, leave some comments below, and I'll see you next time.